Hi guys, this is a look I created just playing with some colors and my Urban Decay Electric Palette. If you're interested in seeing how I did this, keep watching. First, I started off with the Giordano Shadow Pencil in Continuous Almond just as a base on the top and the bottom of my lash, um, lash line. Then using the brow bar to go with the lightest shade, I'm just creating a little transition color. Sorry, it's a little blurry. I'm kind of playing with my camera's um, ISO and lighting. So with my electric Urban Decay Electric Palette, I'm using the color Slow Burn, which is this extremely pigmented orange color. And it's so pigmented, you guys. Um, you definitely have to blend. It looks a little scary now, but I promise it will all come out good in the end. Next, I'm using Sugar Pills Sparkle Baby um, Pressed Eyeshadows. And this color is called Kitten Parade, and I'm using a flat brush and MAC Fix Plus, and I'm just tapping and putting on the shadow on just my lid. This is such a gorgeous, peach, shimmery, sparkly shadow with a lot of dimension. And then I'm gonna take my brow bar to go, and using the darkest shade in that palette, I'm just tapping it right on the corner of my eyes. And then using my Urban Decay palette, I'm using the color Urban. And with just a small brush, I'm gonna tap this right on the outer V of my eye. Really concentrating the color just on the outer V. And then gonna take a clean pointed crease brush and blend that color urban out into my crease and in my outer V, giving my eye a lot of dimension and just blending everything in. With my Urban Decay palette again, using that color urban, I'm using a flat liner brush and I'm just lining the outer third of my eye with the color urban and then with the color jilted I am aligning the middle or the center of my lower lash line and then with the sugar pill sparkle baby color in kitten parade I am going to place that on the inner third of my lower lash line and in my tear duct area. I'm then going to take a matte cosmetics eyeshadow in the color vanilla and I'm placing that on my brow bone. Really just placing it on there and then I'm going to use a clean fluffy brush to blend that in with my eye just to make sure that there aren't any harsh lines. Just blend, blend, blend. With my Urban Decay 24-7 liner and this color is called Lust, I'm going to put that in my lower waterline. And on my upper waterline or tight line, I'm going to use the L'Oreal Infallible Liner in Carbon Black. This is such a great black liner. I'm going to create a Winged liner with the Physician's Formula Eye Booster 2-in-1 liner and ta-da, liner's done. <laughs> I'm using Tarte Lights Camera Lashes Mascara and you can also apply false lashes at this time if you want. I'm just doing two coats and one coat on the bottom. I'm going to cover up any fallout and clean up my under eye area using NYX HD Concealer in the color beige but I also tapped on a couple dots or actually three dots of the yellow HD concealer as well that will brighten up my under eye area and really make my eyes pop. I'm going to set that all with the Hourglass Ambient Lighting Power Powder in Diffused Light. This has a yellow tone to it which will also help brighten up my under eye area and really help my eyes pop. To bronze my face and give my face a little color and to contour out my cheekbones and my jawline. I'm using the Benefit Hula Bronzer. 
I'm placing this also on my forehead just to give myself a little bit of color. For blush, I'm going to use the NARS blush in the color Love. And this is from the Final Cut Collection. Such a beautiful mauve pink. Gives you a really good flush. Placing it on the apples of my cheeks and just blending it into my hairline. I'm going to place the Benefit Rocket Tour blush right on top of it um, to give it just a little bit more dimension and some, some shine. I'm using my brow bar to go the lightest color right in the middle to add a little contour to my nose. I love using this color for my nose contour because it just has the lightest taupey color that gives it just enough shadow. To add some shine and not really shine, but some brightness and illumination to my face. I'm using the BB Plus Illumination um, Face Cream from Gerard Cosmetics or Whitening Lightning. I'm going to use a brush to tap it in and then I'm going to pat it all into my upper cheekbone with my fingers. Also, bridge of my nose and whatever's left on my cupid's bow. For lips, we're going to use the Giordana Lip Liner in Tawny, which is a very neutral shade and filling in my lips and kind of lining up my lips. And then the L'Oreal Color Reach Lipstick, the pre Bay Collection in Frida's Nude. I love this color so much, you guys. I'm gonna top that with Whitening Lightning's Color Gloss in Nude. And this is my absolute favorite gloss right now. And this is the final look, you guys. It's just a really pretty, bright spring peachy pink color thank you guys so much for watching please like this video subscribe if you haven't i love you guys so much and thank you guys so much for watching